it's Drew here, and I'm gonna be doing my March favorites today. Um, I can't believe I've been so consecutive with favorites videos. This is just um, some collective items that I've been loving during the month of March, and I'm really excited to share them with you. So you all know how this works. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and subscribe if you're new. Let's get into the video. All right, so my first favorite that I just wanted to point out is not an actual physical favorite, but it is my blog. And I actually did a little bit of like a facelift or an update to my blog. And if you did not know, I feel like I don't talk about my blog enough on this channel, but I have a blog. It's called imdrewscott.com. You'll probably see it scrolling on the screen right now. But it is like a fashion lifestyle blog that I post on multiple times a week that you guys maybe will not see on my YouTube channel. So I post a lot of outfits, um, travel posts, like Los Angeles places that I eat at, just lots of stuff over there. So I would love for you guys to check out my blog. It's definitely a favorite because I did a redesign on it and I just love the way that it looks um, from this month. And you can check it out. I'll link it below and I'll also link my blog loving page below where you can follow my blog. And if you don't have a blog loving account, it's super easy to create. And you can just follow your favorite blogs on there and you'll actually get an email like once a week with new blog posts from your favorite blogs because a lot of you guys don't even know about it. So I wanted to feature that, links below. On to some actual real product favorites. My first two are actually hair products. And this first one is Big Sexy Hair's Powder Play. And my friend Jack actually used this in his hair when we did a photo shoot a few weeks ago. And um, I just went out and bought it after because his hair looked amazing. And honestly, this product is incredible. It is kind of expensive. It was $16, which I think is um, rather expensive. But from how much I used of this product, I can tell that it's gonna last a long time. What you do is you essentially take it and you shake it in the roots of your hair and you just massage it in a little bit and it's very weird because it feels tacky and it feels like it's kind of sticky but when you pull your fingers out it's not it's strange it like texturizes your hair and gives it like a lot of like lift but it doesn't weigh it down which is nice because it's actually just like a powder form if you have the opportunity to try this product out I definitely suggest it and I'm going to be using it from now on for sure because I never have played with like powder products in my hair and this is amazing so this next product is another hair product and it's by the brand Rusk and it's actually a weightless plus extra strong hold shaping and control hairspray and the nice thing about this is I got it at Ross it was eight dollars super affordable um, well I mean it's a pretty big can so I mean eight dollars is substantial for like a good quality hairspray the thing I like about this is first of all it smells amazing and for some reason, it's a very dry formula. So when you spray it in your hair, it dries really quick. It makes your hair feel kind of dry, but I personally like that because I know it doesn't look dry, it just feels dry, and it gives you that texture, which I really am into the texturized hair look at the moment, which this combined with the powder play is an amazing combination. So if you're at Ross ever, see if they have this product because it's a great hairspray. This next item is a grooming item, and it may not pertain to everyone, but for people who have facial hair, definitely check out this razor. So I actually dropped my old one and I went to Target and got this new one um, I'll link it below if I could find it in case you don't have one around you just want to buy it online it's the Philips Norelco multi groom razor and it's an electric razor so it turns on like this and it vibrates or whatever and it has a charger that you can charge it with but the nice thing is it has this guard on it that adjusts to so many different lengths so honestly I can use it to touch up like um, a new if I just shaved I can use it to touch up um, like the shave the next day or if I let it grow out for a few days I can adjust it to whatever length I I want and you can actually just tone it down and tone it down so sometimes I start off at five and do it and if it's a little too long I can just bump it down to four and do a little bit more but um, I like that it gives you a lot of versatility and it's really inexpensive I think this was like 15 bucks so amazing for the price this next favorite is honestly my favorite item in this whole favorites video I got this about near the end of March but I can honestly tell you this is gonna be my favorite for a long time it is this new pair of brown suede boots. I got these from Urban Outfitters. They were $89, but honestly, for a pair of real leather brown suede boots, I feel like that is such an affordable price. And I'm also gonna put the other colorways on the screen right now for you guys so you can check them out. These are the best Chelsea boots, and I think I'm gonna get another color of them. But the chocolate brown was really appealing to me. I love wearing it with black. I don't have anything that's brown, and it's a neutral tone, so I mean, you could pair it with a lot. But they just fit really nicely. Um, I normally wear a size eight and a half, but I ordered them in a nine, and they fit amazing. So you may wanna go a half size up if you do order them. I'm so excited to style these, and you're gonna see a lot of it on my Instagram and my blog. I have a fashion favorite this month, but it's not particularly this one shirt. It's just this shirt in general, but honestly, it is this one shirt as well. 
I am obsessed with silky, sort of flowy button downs right now, and this shirt is everything to me. It was rather expensive. It's from All Saints. I'll link it below for you guys, and I'll also link some alternative options I found, and also Pakistan has a ton of flowy button downs right now, which I've been loving. But this fabric that's just like very flowy, drapey, and hangy is amazing, and I'm going to get a lot more of these powdered ones for spring and summer. I think they pair really nicely with just like black denim or blue denim, and you can wear them with like your Chelsea boots or whatever, and it's just such an easy outfit and it's very very like lightweight but it's also cool because you have that pattern and this like tailored look to it as well so these shirts are awesome I've been wearing this one a lot and I plan on getting a few more my next favorite is a candle favorite and this is from Oak NYC if you don't know what Oak is it is a brand that was formerly owned by American Apparel but now the people that sold it to American Apparel bought it back it's like a streetwear very edgy cool oversized Lots of blacks and dark colors um, and like unique silhouettes, but they also sell some home goods there. This is in the scent Nightshade and it smells very minty and fresh, which I like because a lot of my scents are like masculine and musky. So this is just an um, alternate change for me. I feel like this is a really nice bathroom scent if you like wanted to put it in your bathroom, but I've been leaving it on my coffee table and burning it and it actually has like a really nice like turnout. It smells really good. Like when you burn it, you can smell it right away. And it's very minty and nice. So I'll try to link it below if I could find it on their website. So a few months back, I actually started including outfits, like my favorite outfit of the month. But this month I actually decided to create an entire separate video and it is about my March outfits. So I showcase eight of my favorite outfits that I love during the month of March. And I'd love for you guys to check out the video. I will put it on the screen right here for you guys in case you have not seen it. And I'll link it below, but give that a watch. I showcase eight outfits. All of them are cool and different and I wore them throughout the month of March and it's just a nice quick little video to give you some inspiration. So I have a new music playlist for you guys this month. As you know, every single month I like to suggest new songs. There's a Spotify playlist, I'll link it below. It has so many new songs I've been loving this month. The main artist is Sophie De La Tour. If you've never heard of her, which I, I don't think a lot of you guys have, her music is absolutely incredible. She has so many songs. I'll put a lot of them on there for you guys, but take a look at that playlist. I have some cool music on there that you may want to add to your own song bank on your Spotify account. So I have some new songs. Check them out. So that's everything in my March favorites. I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you do. Um, I absolutely love creating these favorites for you guys. So if you give it a thumbs up, I know you like them as well. Leave a comment below. What was some of your March favorites this month? I'd love to know as well. And I will catch you all at... And I will catch you guys all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.